My dear viewers, welcome to this Coffee Cup reading. This Coffee Cup reading is for all Capricorns and it's for May 2023. I hope you will enjoy it and let me begin. I'd like to welcome all of you here and I want you to be aware for those of you who are new to the channel, um, new to Coffee Cup reading, I want you to know that prior to doing the Coffee Cup, I always go through meditation and once I go through meditation I'm given a lot of and I get connected to the guiding angels of everyone watching this who has Capricorn within them I'm given a lot of information I write it down on a piece of paper and I deliver this to you right at the end of this reading so let me put my glasses on now and begin with this reading show you a cup it's amazing very very different wow Something's about to start. Something amazing is about to brew up. It's been brewing. It's going to happen. Something really good. All positive here. That's good. Okay. Um, it shows to me that... Um, just glasses properly on. What I'm seeing is... You haven't... Have you been having problems focusing on important factors or or not sorry complicated matters you're you're trying to use all your intelligence to try to see how to resolve something now this particular something could be uh, dealing with something very complicated hmm. when you put your mind to it and if you're not too distracted too busy you'll be able to find a solution i feel like you need to educate yourself in regard to something that needs development developing um there could be lacking uh, knowledge could be lacking about it there could be an illness it could be something to do with a new um, job or a new area in your work something but uh, right next to this it shows that paying attention is very important pa paying attention to details there could be errors there could be sloppiness you really need to pay attention hygiene another factor being uh, shown here i know Capricorns are very hygienic, but hygiene seems to be a, a factor that seems to be um, nominated here. At the same time, uh, this, I've never seen hygiene before, the first time, um, I'm seeing also accuracy. Your accuracy is really needed. Uh, that's why focus is needed. Hard work is going to pay off big time. There's success coming off, a lot of profits. Um, but you've got to be very careful and not risking not taking any risks and putting money into um, anything that's a quick fix like a, a big uh, you know promise of something big that will happen it just uh, won't do it just looks like cautious is needed around money because you're doing well profits are coming money are coming but you can't go risking anything and you can't afford any problems but there is a good time for profit and money big not big amounts but there is there is a lot of money coming in like sound money like uh, comfortable money uh, coming in because of hard work is going to be paying off big time now there are some ideas that are coming into your mind here and there you've got to be very careful because they they could be uh, becoming a little bit irritable and there may be uh, difficulties with these ideas uh, it doesn't mean that you're not supposed to be open to new ideas yes you can be open to new ideas but always remember the ones that are irritable they're irritable for a reason so you can just uh, toss them aside i do feel that there is someone opinionated around you someone that is sort of like a little bit impulsive perhaps poor judgment you need to over look over them and um, they may be overspending Mm. this person could be taking advantage of others you need to be aware of this and they are argumentative so you'll know what i'm talking about you've got to be careful with this person excuse me there's something okay um you've got to be careful with this person it's to do with the way they express themselves sometimes they can hurt others Sometimes they could be self-destructive even. Emotionally, they're a bit immature. So you need to, you know, they could create some problems so that you know you need to set boundaries with this person. Um, I also feel that, yeah, words, hurtful words I'm seeing. So be aware of this, hurtful words. Um, uh, I'm also seeing that there could be some uh, person, someone, or some information actually. Someone's bringing you some information. Um, there is information coming someone with a good heart it looks to me 
someone shrewd, very smart, a good planner. Uh, but there is something about planning or construction or architecture or, you know, engineering, something about um, doing something over or repairing a, a real estate, a, a house, a construction possibly, or could be to do with work regarding that. Okay, now this is really strange. You may be feeling somebody is lying, somebody isn't being truthful, and that is true. You are right. I feel like somebody is not being truthful. I also see that there are choices confronting you, and you've got to be very careful because it looks to me like there's only one good choice, one good correct answer. This is like that. Uh, it reminds me of... Um, yeah, now I'm seeing somebody run away, running away from... Uh, decisions or running away from commitments or running away from problems and this is making matters worse you've got to face up to something that needs your attention and um, really need to make a selfless decision okay i'll say it again a selfless decision very interesting you've got to be very careful this could be happening around june july um, honesty is very important and it's very essential so speak with love but speak the truth no matter how painful it is it is going to transcend the situation and uplift it to the next level uh, I do see disappointment for some disappointment dissatisfaction especially in a situation and um, there could be somebody with bad attitude perhaps but you need to take action and leave your situation at, at this point in time. It could be leaving a relationship or a job that you're not happy with and you're moving. You're relocating relocating, or traveling or leaving, leaving something behind and looking for happiness elsewhere. I'm seeing a lot of dramatic changes in your life. But um, these uh, plans that are taking place are going to be transcending you to a very higher level, a much better place. And you know, there's something that's saying here, like, yes, it is yes. If you're thinking it's possibly yes about something, yes, the answer is yes. So whatever you're thinking, it is right. Yes, we got two rights today. One about somebody being thinking that someone is lying and it was yes, lying. And then the other one, it says, if you're thinking about, oh, is this true? Maybe it's true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They're saying, okay, so this is another yes, two confirmations. For those of you who are having issues with confidence, lacking confidence, or finding it difficult to accept uh, certain areas of your life, you need to acknowledge what you have been through and how magnificent you are. Focus on all that all that you have done so well and, and sacrificed for so much, especially for family. Um, focus on how much you've given. And that is going to increase your self-esteem and you get to know how powerful and how magnificent you are. And that's what the universe, that's how your guardian angels look at you. They look at how powerful you are because of your loving way. Your loving way is your power. Your compassion, your care is your power. And this is the one, this is the part of you that shines. And that's that's the light that um that, that shows really who you are from deep within. Money is coming available to you big time. To invest in a venture perhaps, to take advantage of possibilities, a lot of money is coming. You have to use these resources very effectively um, for a very, very incredible, rewarding future. Your future is changing. A lot of your life is changing. A lot of rewards are coming. And you are given an amazing gift it's not one gift, it's a few gifts, gifts of public recognition, success, glorious success for some of you could be victory, no, fame for some of you, but great victory for most of you. There's an amazing victory, a triumph, success, all positive, affecting your life in a big way. You are going to be filled with pride and joy uh, when something is being given to you, handed to you or shown to you how magnificent you are, your appreciation, or even offered something that you never thought it would be possible. There is a very loving uh, relationship here starting, uh, could be a relationship or could be a very nurturing relationship with someone that really cares about you. Um, your leadership abilities are going to be perhaps the cause of you being offered this uh, position, that you will be an authority, you will have uh, all the power um, you are going to be amazed at your dreams that are being realized you will be able to assume control now of a situation and you are going to be very much protected 
defend those who are weaker they will need your defense there is a beautiful love heart here maybe something new is happening but i'm seeing also that there are so many possibilities like there might be something coming up and you might think oh this is the way to go this is wonderful oh yes i want this but then right next to it or right opposite to it there's something else that you might choose it could be a house could be a business could be um i just feel like there's going to be um sort of the second best thing will be chosen you'll understand when, when this happens you are standing at the beginning of something really wonderful here something great a journey of love wow be ready you are going to have a journey of this love that i was seeing it is taking you through a beautiful journey you are going to be treasuring um what is coming and especially those who you love it shows here the loved ones relationships especially at the end of something a chapter ends and a new one starts a new era that is going to bring you abundance of happiness um breakthroughs um your direction is much clearer you know where you're at what you want a lot of truth is coming to uh, help you with your decisions you are guided by divine guidance and everything will be true and honorable the way you will work the way you will be show, uh, presented um I feel like a big change is happening and a lot of truth is coming and there's going to be a wonderful, great victory for you. There's someone of earth energy here, very strong. This person could be connected to number four, could be connected to number eight. This person is connected to um, perhaps you might be meeting this person. They're earth energy. I see earth energy, very um, someone very very giving very loving earth energy very strong virgo taurus capricorn either one i see someone very much uh very intelligent and very uh diplomatic in their way of speaking the way they think the way they talk you look up to this person a lot of transformations are taking place around this person there is something that they are reading or there could be a book or there could be a document or could be there could be um someone new that you are manifesting bringing into your life someone new someone wonderful someone who reads who enjoys reading I see someone holding a book. This someone is also very industrious. They come up with all these brilliant ideas. They're hardworking. They're reliable. Someone very gentle that you can rely on. And you love the qualities within this person. Absolutely. That you'll have so much desire for this person. This person is very desirable. Something in them. The way they move. The way they think. The way they sit. The way they do something. You love it. You love that about them. Laughter. Laughter seems to be a, a, a question now. They're saying maybe perhaps you should consider being a little bit more funny. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that. Or perhaps your sense of humor uh, needs upgrading. What can I say? This sense of humor, laughter and a question mark. So perhaps uh, the question is, where is your sense of humor? <laughs> so important. I don't know why. I just feel like uh you know when you're focusing on meeting someone new dating or love i think a little bit of sense of humor might be needed yes i do see somebody going out on a date someone new coming into your life maybe you're not going on a date you're meeting someone new but there is uh, a lot of uh, adventure with this and what's amazing about this dating i think right after this dating i'm seeing an engagement ring there's a beautiful diamond ring and the diamond ring shows um trust uh eternity completion um commitment most important more than anything else commitment with someone wonderful i see water energy here double two three water energies wow very strong water energy and what am i seeing the water energy there's um no there's the two fish so pisces oh wow capricorn always pisces your yeah, number one soulmate pisces very strong here then i've got two three crabs wow cancer so cancer here very strong there's scorpion also two scorpions there um so we've got all the water energies here but um the strongest one was um the strongest one is cancer pisces is number one there's two of them but cancer is very strong here so this person might be uh pisces with cancer in them strong water energy now what's amazing here i'm seeing a lot of fire energy and i'm seeing a lot of what is that i'm trying to see just let me put my glasses a bit deeper on yeah oh yes they're rams mm, i thought they were buffalo but not one two three rams okay so we, we're talking about aries here very 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 strong aries in this person so they've got water energy they've got fire in them which makes them incredible they're always warm 
and uh, when there's Aries, there's a lot of warmth. You will love their warmth, and you, they, f they love your Earth energy. Your Earth energy, they adore it. They, they, they go so well. Earth energy goes so well with fire. Fire needs you, Capricorn. You are Earth energy, and they need you to thrive for stability they feel kind of stable with you but there's also another thing okay very important this is very important so we've got three aries here which means that intensifies the power of aries in this person they've got a lot of aries which makes them very loyal and you will love that they're hardworking and loyal and um and honest and then we've got two lions so there's leo also fire energy of aries and leo now fire energy sagittarius is also a fire energy but it hasn't shown here it's just showing me um aries and leo three aries and two leos wow now this person has also earth energy like yourself my dear capricorn they've got capricorn within them there's a very strong capricorn within them they've also got virgo and they've got taurus so virgo and taurus double virgo here so there's virgo more stronger now what's amazing is i'm seeing air energy here whether it's disconnected to this person or someone else could be also within you you'll understand you'll know um i'm shown very strong Aquarius, two Aquarians. There's the um the water bear Aquarius, two Gemini and one Libra. So that's the air energy. So um they that that's that's very very deep. And um, this this star sign combination of these uh, people, this person, I feel they are very much very warm. They've got the earth energy to give them the strength that they need, the independence, the power, the gentility, the loving way, the manner. Uh, the way they put everything is just spectacular. And I also feel like this person is very much connected to you spiritually. I feel like you will grow together. You will build a business together. You can do so much together with this person. Chinese year of the pig here, very strong, whether it's yourself or them. Chinese year of the pig. Um, Chinese year of the monkey. I'll just move it a little bit. Yes, monkey. Chinese year of the monkey. Very strong here again. Chinese ear of the buffalo, ox or buffalo. I see two goats and Chinese ear of the goat and two horses. Chinese ear of the horse, very strong here. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, and they, oh, wow. What is that? Oh, it's a tiger. And there's a Chinese ear of the tiger twice. So I'm getting them all twice. Um, and uh, there's two more, Chinese ear of the rat and Chinese ear of the rooster. Uh, now, these star signs could be either yourself or the person that you are meeting. Now, for example, if you are born in the Chinese year of the rat, you would go exceptionally well with the person that has the rooster in them. If you are born in the Chinese year of the buffalo, you would go incredibly well with the ox, incredibly well with the monkey. So it depends. And if you are, for example, Chinese year of the pig, you would go exceptionally well with the rat or you would go spectacular with more than anybody else, the horse. So there's two horses there also. Uh, it's amazing, um, the star sign combination here. It's just spectacular. And I also feel like with the rooster, it goes quite well with the um, with the horse. Yes, so absolutely amazing. Chinese ear of the rat that I'm seeing here, two Chinese ear that could be yourself or them, goes exceptionally well with the rooster. Yes, the rooster again. Wow. I'm trying to put them together to see which goes with it. But the horse and the monkeys always end up together. Um the roosters end up together. Sometimes Caspi's rooster ends up with a dog. Uh, rooster Caspi, that also is a possibility. Um, you will notice things are going to be transforming. Your way of thinking is transforming. You're feeling abundant. You're feeling happy. You're feeling that you can concentrate more, more happier. You're feeling a certain sense of happiness. Some of you are thinking of... Um, revisiting uh, maybe the family or something like that wanting to visit or spending quality time with family some of you are planning on you know taking a, a short trip perhaps or maybe not a short trip but it looks like it's a bit of a distance um, or maybe you're planning uh, travel some of you could be thinking of traveling but I do feel like there are a few people that you'd like to visit you're mingling with these people it could be family that you're seeing or going back to your area of your childhood perhaps or seeing your children uh, grown-up children maybe adults there's, there's something like that here um, and i see that happening around past may it's june july maybe it'll show more in your june um coffee cup don't forget to watch that there is a, an illness that you are worried about that might be might be in you might be in need to sort of investigate 
to see what could be just this you know type up your symptoms in google and get an idea of what it could be so that you can maybe replenish maybe uh, your immune system is going a bit weak it might need support you might consider taking some natural remedies so look into that that's very important but i'm seeing a big change i'm seeing abundance i'm seeing the angel of love bringing love into your life enduring love uh, you know a fresh way of life uh, love something magnificent here someone amazing someone that you can build mountains with someone that you can build a business with so there's something spectacular taking place here but at the same time i feel like big money is coming to you it was there it's coming and it's showing that luck is going to be on your side big money now let's go through to see what your guardian angels have said i don't need glasses for this now it says here something suddenly happens all of a sudden something takes place suddenly something suddenly and then it says a jackpot wow there's a jackpot you are going to be so excited about this jackpot it's going to be amazing i was looking for water but i can't find it okay jackpot excitement very much about this jackpot true love remember i said there's someone that's changing your life and you are going to be building mountains with true love is there orchids something about orchids now orchids are flowers that are to do with beauty so there's going to be a lot of beauty surrounding you and people can literally give you orchids or you could be planting orchids in your garden they are beautiful in the spring absolutely beautiful and a gorgeous flower also it is used as a perfect ornament like a decorative um, in your home now scale this is the strangest thing i was given scale twice that's never happened with the word scale scale is to do with weighing things balance so i was given this twice it means you should weigh things evaluate things well uh, pay attention to your weight if it's fluctuating see what's going on um weigh things well weigh them well and pay attention to maybe getting a scale that could be another one to to to, to keep an eye on your weight perhaps uh, balance is needed in your life anxiety anxious if you're anxious about something about your weight this is very important to pay attention to this if your weight you are anxious about your weight going high or going low do look into uh, your health like i said google some of the symptoms and find out what what's making you either lose weight or put on weight because the scale to be given twice that means something isn't right about your weight or about balance in your life and your health something isn't quite right it needs it needs replenishment it needs help it needs some sort of vitamin maybe there's a vitamin deficiency maybe there's something that it might be so simple that you might be neglecting it and it's going in minus you need to know and uh, maybe you're anxious being a capricorn uh, most capricorns don't like health matters but this is really important and you really need to pay attention i am now this is very important i am could be dealing with someone with ego you know somebody who has too much faith in themselves to the point where they become egotistical i am could be also about you being in meditation and you know using meditation to heal to take care of yourself more moving forward is right next to i am so your higher self is could be trying to say to you you are going to be moving forward or perhaps moving forward from anxiety all that is going to surpass and you will pass it all and i think it's that because there's a victory here a great victory awaits you and um chosen distant you are chosen you are the chosen one. Oh my god that was i was shocked about this um there could be someone chosen for you but i feel like you are the chosen one and you're destined for something miraculous and someone wonderful coming into your life and water now you need to replenish my dear capricorn you need to replenish you need to drink water and water energy is coming into your life pisces and a lot of uh cancer cancerians so water replenish always think about drinking throughout the day small sips all throughout the day not too much water uh drinking too much water at the same time is no good but drinking all day and all night sips uh, helps you replenish properly the lymph system now winning yes you are going to be winning if you're questioning will i win win yes i got that big big win yes and there's pisces there's the water energy here that you are destined to be with pisces pisces given to you twice three times so we got three pisces and three cancers both were very strong remember that pisces is, is soulmate of capricorn and so is cancer now as for names and initials we've got h f y h for honey horse f for frog 
uh, Frankfurt wife a yellow or yogurt okay then we've got numbers so I was given twice number three number three is connected to Pisces believe it or not people born in March are Pisces and Aries uh, three is connected to the Chinese year of the tiger we had two tigers this becomes the third tiger Chinese year of the tiger big time then we've got three connected to family something about family reunion getting together collaborating together meeting up dealing with family working together with family seeing family traveling to see family i saw that here and it's also to do with the collaboration dealing with um, other people working together building a business very profitable business a lot of money coming here three is also from now the time you see this coffee cup up to three months there'll be a lot of collaboration a lot of businesses profiting a lot of profits coming in business and a lot of family get-togethers that's what was given to me twice so it's going to be very intense and also of course uh, people born in march are pisces and aries okay so pisces again it comes up twice and it's given to me here again third time and fourth time that's why i say always pisces is connected to capricorn number six number six is all about love it's about healing it's about spirituality it is about people born in june which are gemini and usually are um, cancer Cancerians are born also in June and um, Chinese year of the snake for those of you who are born the Chinese year of the snake or you could be cuspy snake um, it is to do with love healing from the time you see this cup all the way till June June and it's also about June itself uh, and um, some something happening in June six up to six months there's going to be a lot of situations or it could be up to six weeks or up to June meeting uh, falling in love healing because of love, um, spirituality, uh, and all kind of love matters from now up to June, and June including, and June itself is going to be magnificent regarding love and healing from love. And that is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, my dear, dear Capricorn. Don't forget, you are going to meet true love, and there is a jackpot and winning. Yes, win, yes, and I got a jackpot here. So there's going to be a lot of excitement and a lot of beautiful things happening. And something suddenly, don't forget, I'm going to do that part of the heading. Something suddenly is going to take place. I wish you abundance of love and light. I do hope you enjoyed the reading. Do give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you. Let me know what you think. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to it and click on the bell so that it always notifies you the different type of videos that I do um, for you. And don't forget to watch your money reading to see the source of this big money that's coming, the jackpot, where is it coming from? You don't forget to watch your, to get to access to your lucky numbers, uh, which are in the community section of this channel and play them. And, and it tells you all about how to play them and how to sort of do all that in your money reading, which is very precise, all about your finance, your money, your work, your career, and everything about your money. So um, watch that. And um, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I wish you abundance of blessings. Namaste.